scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let's lift our hands and bless his name. Father, we give you praise for tonight. Lift your hands all over the building. Let's just bless his name. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you Worship him in this place. You are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Sing move by your spirit. In this place. Lift your hands and bless. Just lift your hands. Express your passion and your desire. Go ahead and bless him everywhere, inside and outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Only potent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in. Oh, 
omnipotent Father. Have mercy and grace. You are welcome. Spirit of the living God, we thank you. I pray tonight that you will visit us and give us an encounter. We have come before your mighty presence. Open our eyes and cause us to see. Open our ears and let us hear the sounds from heaven. Lord, we bless you. Holy Spirit, we cannot do without you. And so we declare that this ground is open. We bow down and worship you. Worship you. We bow down and worship Him, worship Him, oh worship Him. Lift your voice and sing, we bow down and we enter in, we bow down and worship Him, we enter in, enter in. Is the consuming fire consuming fire sweet pursue his awesome presence fills this room this is holy This is holy ground. This is holy ground, say. Oh, come, oh, come, oh, come. And now, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, 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 your name is called, Emmanuel, your name is called, your name is called, the voices again one more time sing Your name is called 
His name is called. Oh, 
I love you more than life. 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 Shibala Kataba. Hallelujah. Let me teach you a little song. I wrote this song years ago. It's a very simple song. It says, Let the weight of your glory fall and let it cover all the earth. Oh, goodness, the presence of God is mighty in this place. Might. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. That's all to the song. Sing it from the depths of your heart. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the Let it cover all the earth. That's our desire. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Can you sing it? Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover. Lord, let your Shekinah mantle us tonight. Let it cover all the earth. Come on, lift your hands, lift up the instrument. Let it cover all the earth. This is our desire, oh God. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory.
Go ahead and worship him. Your presence is mighty in this place. Mighty in this place. Yeah. You're mighty in this place. You're mighty in this place. You're mighty in this place. Shebaria, shebaria, bosuta, ba 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 ba. Sheba suta, ya ba 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 ba. Shere koni ya mala na 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 mos, ya na na mos, sorry ya na na mos. Mama masono mos, ya na 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 mos, ya na na na. Go ahead and sing in the spirit. Go ahead and put melodies upon your prayer. Shama na 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 ma soto bakata balada bakata brenda gade Rakata balada Seba baba rada balada rada bo Soba rada 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 bo Sumaria na 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 Hey Karamo se na 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 bo Se na 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 bo Rakata mala na 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 bo Se na 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 bo Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, awesome are you, Lord. Shima na 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 mosi na na na. Awesome are you, Lord. King of kings, mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, say, mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings, mighty are you, Lord. Oh, he arises as a man of war tonight. Mighty are you, Lord. Mighty are you, Lord. Kappa, take kappa. Send take kappa. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Mighty are you, Lord. Sena na maliana na mos. Mighty are you, Lord. King of kings. Awesome are you, Lord. Awesome are you, Lord. Awesome are you, Lord. King of kings. Awesome are you, Lord. King of kings. So let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open the flood gates of heaven let it rain let it rain would you open the flood gates of heaven listen i hear the rain i hear the rain He's opened the floodgates of heaven. Tonight we see the rain. We see the rain. He's opened the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the 
floodgates of hell. Go ahead and worship. Let it rain. Open, open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. The rain is open, the floodgates of heaven. Lord, we hear the rain, we see the rain, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Siga bala da bande grate kapada bala. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Zata prakata ba 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 kata prenda kata kata bala da bot. Sigadevalanadabakotobrakadabaladabakariadabakosobrakadabaladabakosobrakadabaladabakosobrakadabaladabakosobrakadabaladabakosobrakadabaladabakosobrakadabaladabakosobrakadabaladabakosobrakadab
Shakata Baladaba, Ekata Pros, the Bande Kilibaria Tabaria Daba Baba Baba Shokoto Baka Prekata Baladabos, Ekrata Kataleko Soposi Bada Katai, Shakata Rakatos Kopoto Goto Pros, the Baladaba, Mekanebas Kepria Baladabas Kebrondo Shubai, Rabadega de Baladaba Goto Fragada Baladabas. Aparete poco do prosco prendi che ne vas la catta prosco bordi creschi per la catta so proto coto precata bella da bacata fa sotto poco to frecata le poco do prende che te se che te che te che te bella da bocca sotto fracata bella da bocca sende che te pe che te pra scapata se che te va caparata fa Shata kata ba kata ba 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 ba. Shaka te koso to ba koso ba kata ba la da ba. Mente prata kata prata kata kata ba kata. Lende koso to ba koso frende kete. Ekrata kasi kete le koso ba koso ba kata ba ba ba. Me kete pros koso ba kata le kete. Shaka te prende kete pros ko pros ko ba. Raka da ba le kete prende kete ba la da ba. Lega te prontos ko proto ko to bosh. Lega te prete ke te pres ke te pe ke te. Lega te pros ko ba 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 ba. Pray, 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 pray. Build your spirit. Make intercessions. Let te pros ko ba ta ba la la ba. Make contact with heaven. Lega te pros ko prot ka ba sh ka ba re te kos ka da ba. Rise through prayer. Le pros ke ba o sha ba ke pros ke ba ria ta. Mekata prosko balaba da ba da katai. Shekata lebo subrati arabash. Take charge over the heavenlies. Shente proski bati kata da 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 ba kata. Shekata da da ba kata bala da bos. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Shoto to koto pro koto pala da ba koto fresh. Dekata bali bati abala bat. I release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication. Makata prakata parakate, shakata bakata prokoto poko shakate, shakate rekate makaposh kambatia, akrakata gade gade bagade bagade balada bakaso to poko to bagade gade, makapakoto sho poko to balaba, mente prata kata lekate boska, emprot kaposka bande kaposhe baska, lekate poko so proto koto bakate, mekate protis kabaria da baska pros kebosh. Ekrata ta ta poko to prons ke ba 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 ba. Leka te ba kora si ke te ba la na ba. Shaka te pros ku ba ri ke te. Zinde ke te le ke te ba 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 ba. Supa ba ba ka ta ba la na ba ka ti ke ne ba la na ba. Come on, pray, Koinonia. Si ke te ke te ba 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 ba. Shekatele baka pronze pata katai. Shekatele baka taba ba 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 ba. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Shekatete te ba la da ba. Don't be tired. This is part of the meeting. This is koinonia. Kaprande kaparatos koprati balada ba. Balaba la boso produce balada ba. There's an army rising up. There's an army. Rising up, there's an army. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. There's an army. Rising up, 
there's an army rising up. Don't break every chain. Lift your hands, everyone. Shikapatatabaladaba. Lift your hands. Sikaparende kabaladaba shikatai. Mande krada la pako prondus kubali kariada. Zete parata parikatai. Zekatere potsukotoi. Shikelepo sataya. Keep your hands lifted up. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to be touching men, touching women. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. From the front to the back. The power of the Holy Ghost. That's what happens when we worship. Yeah, yeah. The Lord is breaking limitations. The Lord is breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Hallelujah. 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 Please hold your hands all across the building. In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in tongues. The Lord is doing something in this place tonight. I began to sense this right from the morning. Hold your hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray. Instrumentalists, don't stop praying. We are going to pray in tongues. Listen, within these five minutes, there will be a busting. Something will break open. As you pray, for many of us, there will be a release of very deep spiritual virtues. This is not just ordinary prayer. Trust me. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. The Bible says, while they prayed, the Holy Ghost said unto them, Separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord, as we pray tonight, let there be impartations, let there be openings. Openings of portals, openings of vessels. Pray, pray. Soto kete kete ke pakata. Bambra te kete poko so prekete. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Kete baka pra te kete. Zete la pariada bakataya. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. Right to the back. Make sure you pray. Spiritual doors are opening. Spiritual doors are opening. I see spiritual doors opening. Spiritual doors are opening. Access, access, access. Access is being given to men. Access to deep spiritual things. Access, access is being given to men. Pray, 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 pray. 
Monte que le posco se te balabas. Access in the spirit. Access in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. He told Jacob, for as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. Come on, lift your voice and pray. There's an army They are rising up They are rising up There's an army We are rising up There's an army 
rising up. We will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Tell me, what can I do? I can live without you. I can live without you. Tell me, what can I do? I can live. There's a part of I want to sing. Oh, oh. oh. Lift your voice, chant it in the spirit. Oh, 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 Sing it one more time from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. This is koinonia, an experience of intimacy with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's a family that has been on my mind. I don't know if they are here. The family with the... Is it the mad person now? Or the, are they here? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We're in for an experience tonight. I began to see this right from the morning. I'm telling you, chains are breaking. Chains are breaking. I still hear this in my spirit. Chains are breaking. 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 Oh, let the chains break. Every chain over everyone here. Every chain. Every chain. Every chain. Every assault of darkness. Every chain. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every chain. Every chain. Every chain is broken right now. Chains of habits, chains of limitations. Hallelujah. You're the person. Please confirm it. Where's the family that there was a there are people that spoke to me about someone? They are not here. Someone who got mad or psychosomatic. It's not a word of knowledge. There is a family that I'm supposed to minister to here. Okay, if they are not around, that's okay. Why are you here? Your brother, your elder brother, what's wrong with him? Come. How many years? Seven years. Where is he? At home. I'll pray the Lord will use you as a point of contact. Lord Jesus, let your power touch the brother, even through him, in the name of Jesus Christ.
Alléluia. The Lord is showing me many ladies with abdominal pain. Just place your hand there right now. The Lord is showing me many people, especially ladies. Hallelujah. I'm just going to rebuke it and I see like, like they look like guns, but it's fire, literal fire. It will live and it will hit you and that is the end of it. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, right now, I cause that pain. Go now. Go now. Now, 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 every devil of darkness responsible for every pain, I curse you now in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Be healed right now. Be healed. The power of God is healing them right now. Right now. Right now. You may not even know right now. The sign is that it will touch you. It must touch you. You can't stand on your feet. If you are part of this list, it will touch you. That's what the Lord is showing me. I cause that pain. I cause that spirit of infirmity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everyone lay your hand on your chest. The Lord is going to rebuke blood conditions right now. Blood conditions. Blood conditions. Blood conditions. All those who are part of it, there will be this same fire. It will come upon you in a mighty way. It's a sign that you are the one God is touching. This is not something vague. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Right now, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, blood conditions, I speak to you. All those affected, may the fire of God set you free. Now, 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 now the power of God is touching people. Right now, right now, I cause that devil, I cause that devil, I cause that devil, I cause that devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. I see visions of the spirits of infirmity, living people, living people, living people. In the mighty name of Jesus, I curse that spirit. The Lord is showing me two ladies. And I'm seeing a guy, you have a problem with sleeping. You don't sleep. No matter what happens, you don't sleep. You just stay awake and sleep never comes. Where are they? Two ladies, I see the Lord showing me. Please, let's save time. And one guy. Please save time if, if, if you are the one, just so that save us all of the time. How long has it been? Huh? Six months. How about you? Huh? I'm seeing your hands chained. Your own situation. There's, there's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. There's still one more lady. There's one more lady. The Lord is showing me. Hallelujah. Come, I have to pray for you. Yours is more than a sleep problem. Hold my hands. I cast this chains in the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go right now. And I break by the power of the Holy Spirit. This spirit that causes you not to sleep. You are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. How many months? Six months. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free right now. You will begin to sleep normally in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is touching someone's ear. 
right now as I speak. The Lord is touching someone's ear. You will literally feel as though a cotton bud is put in your ear. And all of a sudden, it will open up and become clearer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing a lady of a breast lump. You began to see this. You've not even shared it with many people. Breast lump is living right now. Right now. Dissolving and going back to hell never to return to you again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are four people. Listen. There are four families that as I speak right now, the angel of the Lord is going to their homes and is causing major breakthroughs. Listen. Listen. It's not, it's not just prophecy for everybody. Four exact people. One. There are four of them. Two. The angel of the Lord literally 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 is entering these homes and they are receiving dramatic breakthroughs dramatic breakthroughs the lord is showing me over 10 people and i see academic chains this is what i see 10 people 10 people and this is not your fault 10 people i'm going to begin to count one to ten and goodness it's like fire 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 i cost those spirits two three four five six kapototo badakata seven eight nine i cost those chains i cost those chains i cost those chains It comes to an end. I tell you, it comes to an end. That chain breaks now and forever. It comes to an end. Hallelujah. Let's just flow with what the Holy Spirit is doing. If this is all he does tonight, that's all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing two eyes in the spirit and God wants to open up at least 19 people here in the realm of visions and supernatural experiences. Listen, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, prophetic fountains, those eyes in the spirit, sheketata parata, sheketete pokotos, at least 19 people at least 19 people shataka bariata fire physical fire coming upon your eyes physical fire coming upon your eyes open them up oh god to these dimensions of supernatural revelations Hallelujah. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord. And God wants to cause barrenness from two families. Now, two families, right now, just two families. Father, wherever these families are represented, right now, let your power visit and set them free now.
Hallelujah. Lift your hands this row. All of you here, just lift your hands. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. From the front right to the back, there are people that God again is visiting their families. Families, families. God is bringing breakthrough. Right now, right now, just this row, Lord, in the name of Jesus, let those families, let the angel of the Lord, there are angels walking through this crowd. Right now, right now, right now, in the name that is above all names, angels of the Lord walking to families, performing specific miracles, specific miracles, specific miracles. Specific miracles. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hallelujah. I cast that spirit from this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. There are some devils that need to leave this place right now. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 God is bringing mighty deliverance for people now. Every service is miracle service. Are you getting my point now? We're going to shout that name, Jesus. My goodness. I'm telling you, major deliverances that will bring breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. The symbol. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name. I command every devil and every spirit, every act of witchcraft and divination in the name of Jesus and at the count of three, they must come out of their hiding places and go never to return. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Reposheketete. I cause devils now. I cause spirits now. I cause spirits, every wicked spirit out of God's people, out of every family. Now, I break spells, I break witchcraft, I break the power of divination. Bring them out. Bring them out. I cost that power. It's not just them. Families. They are families. I set fire. 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 Upon altars. I set fire. I set fire. Upon Hallelujah. Lift your hands again. God is visiting families. This is not about you. All the people here are representing families. Lift your hands. Oh, the fire of God must fish them out. There is no hiding for any spirit. Shh. At the count of three, you will shout that name at the top of your voice. And a sword of the spirit will go to your family. There must be deliverance tonight. Are you ready now? One, two, 
free. Hallelujah. The Bible says, How awe inspiring are your ways? It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. All the people you see here, they are representing their families. God is stepping into families. Those doors must be open. I see ancient gates in the spirit. Ancient gates. And I'm about to command them to open. Listen. When I command those gates to open, those affected, you will feel it physically. These are the gates that cause limitations over people and families. But in the name that is above all names, I come tonight under this apostolic and prophetic anointing. <laughs> I command you be open. I command you be open. Hallelujah. Any family, lift your hands that is tied down by any kind of limitation. I don't care what it is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if that spirit has survived anywhere else in this place, this is the mount of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command those doors open now. I command those doors open now. Doors of breakthrough be 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 open now. By the force of the spirit, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout it, shout it. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I declare that every force stopping the advancement of my family by the fire of the Holy Ghost live now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every power you must be in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Pick up your Bibles, Daniel chapter 10. The devil is in trouble tonight. Daniel chapter 10. You have come for koinonia. It's an experience. It's a mountain. Something must change about your life. Daniel chapter 10 verse 10 and behold an hand touched me and set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands and he said unto me O Daniel a man greatly beloved understand the words that I speak unto thee and stand upright for unto thee I am now sent. And when he had spoken this word to me, I stood trembling. Verse 12. Then said he unto me, Fear not. Daniel had been fasting and praying. He said, For from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard. And I am come to thee for thy words. Verse 13. But the prince, listen, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. And lo, Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me. And I remained there with the kings of Persia. Listen, the Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Then it says against principalities against powers then against rulers then against spiritual wickedness they do not operate in the earth realm the bible says they operate in the heavenlies this prince of persia was the territorial spirit across the land of persia so when gabriel was bringing the answer the solution that prince stopped him. I have been put in charge of this territory to make sure that breakthrough does not come to men. To make sure that men are not lifted. But there was a man in the earth realm who kept praying. And while he prayed, it was on the strength of his authorization that from the arsenals of heaven, the archangel Michael had to come because he's the archangel in charge of war. We are going to pray tonight. Every land has territories. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Every land has territories. And there are spirits. Those of you who have listened to the message, give me this mountain. There is a spiritual dimension to life. And there are, met, there are certain things that will never manifest in your life until you prevail in prayer. Jacob held on to him. He said, I will not let you go. He said, leave me for the day break it. He said, no way. He said, what is thy name? He said, Jacob. He said, your name will be changed to Israel. For as a prince, you have power with God. And you have prevailed. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Don't let anybody fool you and tell you what we just read was the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, when you pray, it just comes. It, 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 it makes... Listen. The kingdom of God is a system. The earth realm is a system. Are you getting my point? It is as soon as Zion travails, hallelujah, that she will put forth. There is a birthing. This is the ninth month. If you didn't come to pray tonight, I'm so happy about the rain. Because you won't go anywhere. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray now? We are going to pray. Listen. We are going to confront powers. Zechariah chapter 1, please, quickly. Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18. Zechariah chapter 1. Verse 18. Then I lifted up my eyes and I saw. And I beheld what? Four horns. 
A horn is a symbol of authority. Next verse. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be these? What are these horns? And he answered me, These are the horns that have scattered Judah. These are the horns that have scattered Jerusalem. These are the horns that are making your father to never reconcile with your mother. These are the horns that make finances to stop when it's about to come. These are the horns hindering the gates of marriage. Verse 20. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. Then I said, what come this to do? He said, these are the horns that have scattered Judah. Judah means praise. These are the horns that have robbed you of your testimony, of your joy. He said, so that no man does what? Lift up his head. They have put a barrier around your family and your life. And they have said, no man will lift up his head. So every time you want to lift up your head, there are horns. They station them. Hear me and take seriously what I'm saying. They have drawn the boundaries. Man, takata. Goodness. I tell you, I sense deliverance fire in this place tonight. Oh, those horns must leave. For sure. There are horns stationed across territories to make sure that men do not rise. Some of you, this is a limitation. You are the first person in your family to get to the university. There are horns. But tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are going to step out and put on our priestly regalia. We are going to confront the heavens he told Job, he said, Has thou commanded thy morning? Did you speak into the heavenly territories? Did you command the things to align themselves? We're praying tonight. The Bible says the stars fought for Deborah. She was a warrior, and the constellations arranged themselves to make sure that enchantments could not go to the heavens. Lift your voice. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Come on now, you have to be more serious than this. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. All right. That every power. Across my territory. That wants to stop me. And stop my family. From rising, up, from rising up I challenge you tonight, challenge you tonight by, the by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and begin to pray <laughs> Rocky Tacote, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we are praying tonight. Jude 1. Jude 1, verse 9. You will see tonight that Satan is interested in this body that you wear. Jude 1. Everyone read. Want to read. Hold on. Do you see Michael again? Michael in Daniel. Contending against powers. He shows up again in the book of Jude. Read on. Want to read. Hold on. He disputed about the what? Spirit. Soul. Body. Satan wanted the body of a man. Satan wants the bodies of men. Not just their spirits. Because without a body. Without a body. Demonic activities cannot be carried out. The church is called the body. That the Holy Ghost uses. It's called the body of Christ. The body that the Holy Ghost wears. There is a law in this realm. That any spirit that does not have a body. Cannot function in this realm. So Satan wants the body of Moses. If he looked for the body of Moses. Moses in the Old Testament. How much more your own body. So he will afflict you. He wants your body. So he will manipulate your body and all kinds of objects moving around. But the Bible says, know ye not that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Know ye not. Listen. We are going to pray. I'm establishing a prayer point. Jesus entered the temple which was his body and he found out that there were strangers in that temple. Are you getting my point now? Those who should be in the temple were not there. And he found people doing business in the temple. There were transactions going on in his body. That's the same way Satan carries out all kinds of transactions. In human bodies. And you hear people complaining. Objects are moving in my body. You see people sleep in the night. And all kinds of devilish things come to oppress them. Tonight we are going to pray. Are you getting my point? Please, if you are sitting, except you are under the anointing, stand up. And let's take some time to pray. You must get angry tonight and let's pray. Because something must break. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your voice. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. That my body. That's my is the temple of the Holy Ghost. My body, my body belongs to Jesus. Therefore, every strange spirit attempting to hold on to my body, I command you right now, depart from my body now. Lift your voice and pray. Every stranger Every stranger, this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Pray, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everywhere the gospel was preached, Jesus demonstrated that he was not only interested in the spirits of men, but their bodies. Yes, what healing does to your body is what salvation does to your spirit man. Hallelujah. We are going to cause the root of sickness. I want you to get ready because the devil is in trouble. There's fire burning in this place this night. No matter how mad a man is, he does not enter fire by mistake in the name of madness. Are you getting what I'm saying? No matter how stupid a man is, in his insanity, he knows fire when he sees it. The Bible says he maketh his ministers wings. Are you getting my point? And his messengers flames, flames of fire. Every stranger in your body is about to leave. I don't care what it is called. Sickness is that. Let me tell you how you know that these things are demonic. Because many of us, when you pray on it, it will go. And then later on it will return. Right? You are a lady, they pray for you. And then for one or two or three months, you find out that your period just comes normally. No pain, no nothing. And then in the fourth month, it backfires again. There are people, recurrent headache, all kinds of devils. A growth comes and then it goes. You pray and try to treat it, it goes. We are going to set it on fire right now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says, know ye not that your body. I showed you from the book of Jude. Satan was fighting with Michael over the body of Moses. Hallelujah. This body is your legal access for living and functioning in this realm. If it is battered beyond repair, your spirit will no longer be able to stay there and it will have to leave. So if Satan cannot get to manipulate your mind, he will batter your body in a way that your spirit cannot live and it will have to go. We are going to pray. Many of us, as you are praying right now, you will be surprised. Huh? Now is the time to pray all those. Hold on, please, one minute. Genotype. Huh? I've read my Bible from Genesis. Please listen. This is very serious what I'm sharing. There's no mention of any nonsense of genotype in this Bible. Have you read your Bible? There are many ladies right now, many guys, they cannot even get married. They can't think of anything because the devil put one rubbish embargo called genotype. S, S, A, S and all of those rubbish. Now you want to get married or you want to settle down, they tell you no. Health wise, every parent is carrying their child and running away. The devil is in trouble tonight. We are going to pray. If he was not here, he should not be in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe what I'm saying. Whatever has affected this body has affected God's property. And we're going to pray and invoke his presence that he will rise in his jealousy and attack any stranger. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of you, as you pray, growth will disappear. See, the trouble is that many of us have been praying, but we, we, of course, I know not here, but generally, we, we do not know the power of the corporate anointing. Psalm 133 talks of God depositing the blessing where people are gathered together in unity. That's different from your personal prayer life. Are you getting my point now? We are going to pray. There are traits of infirmities around your family. There are traits of infirmity in your life. There are many of us, all sorts of embarrassing conditions, skin problems, to the minutest, to anything. Hear me! No matter how small it is, 
it is according to your faith tonight. Are you getting what I'm saying? He said, whatever my father has not planted, whatever he has not planted, he must be uprooted. Don't sit down and tolerate it. What you tolerate in your body, the devil will use it to destroy you. But when you resist the devil, the Bible says he will flee. Lift up your voice. We are going to pray again. Say after me in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness. Every infirmity. Every abnormality. In my body. Hear the word of the Lord. I command you. To leave this body now. I command you. To leave this body now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2, verse 24 and 25. Joel chapter 2. Let's start from verse 23. Joel 2, verse 23. Want to read? Verse 24. Verse 25. Shout it with all your heart. Shout it. Listen, listen, listen. We are still praying. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Based on the word of God. I place demand. For restoration. In my life. In my family. Hallelujah. We are going to pray that prayer again. You know the areas you want restoration. Please we are not playing games tonight. The presence of God is here. Hallelujah. 
when we get to that part you will mention it and we're going to pray the bible says i will he didn't say i will send someone i will supervise your restoration hallelujah the years we're going to say lord turn the hands of time again turn the hands of time let that which the devil has stolen be restored there are things that need to be restored tonight hallelujah say after me in the name of jesus, the name of jesus. I, receive I receive sevenfold restoration, seven restoration of everything the devil has stolen in my life now mention them your health whatever it is Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give him thanks. We bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because our eyes will see the desires of our hearts and our hands will handle it. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please sit down. Just give me 10, 15 minutes and we're out of here. If this is all we have done tonight. It is worth it. There's no place for you to sit, stand, sit on the floor, sit anywhere. Go ahead. The service is already on. So, Please, there should be no vacant seat. There are still people standing. The person is under the anointing. Let the person lie down on the floor and let someone use the seat. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what the word of God has said. Revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life. Hallelujah. Revelation is not knowing what God has said. It's not even knowing that there is a kingdom principle. That's not revelation. Revelation is knowing how to make that principle work in your life. If it cannot work in your life, then it's useless. Hallelujah. See, we keep sharpening ourselves like this, like arrows in the presence of God we are sharpening ourselves because we are trusting God to attain a statue in the spirit where no power in existence can stop your fulfilling God's destiny for your life you believe that? there is a generation that is depending upon our faithfulness the Bible says he that sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption and he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life eternal we're making investments in the spirit we're laboring we're traveling 
you won't be surprised when you see your life and your prophetic destiny tomorrow because you will know that yes it is god's grace but paul said it this way i am what i am by the grace of god right but he said this grace was not showered upon me in that i labored more than ye all there is grace that manifests as the favor of god and there is grace that manifests as supernatural empowerment to do hallelujah the lord is changing your life i'm telling you gradually the bible says line upon line precept upon precept your value system your life the quality of your christian experience is changing and then like the 71 day he will trust you with responsibilities he will send you and you will be shocked to see that he has built you to be his finest the finest of the finest of the best don't trivialize what god is doing in your life brothers and sisters week after week you're submitting yourself to the dealings of the spirit and it will translate into something in your life you may not look like it now see that there is no athlete who wants to look good when you are rehearsing have you seen an athlete like that you are conscious of your shoe let it not have mud. no 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 when when you are training you will see footballers get dirty and all of that but when they lift that trophy huh they can now dress and enjoy the celebration my bible tells me that no man that warreth will entangle himself with civilian affairs these trainings will prune you it will it will it will build you listen to me it will challenge you it will stretch you it will provoke you but when you submit to the dealings of the spirit the end of it is peace something will happen in your life that money cannot buy something will happen in your life that is not common you will now know that it is not common to be yielded to the spirit it's not a gift not everybody is interested there are many people who are born again but very few people are interested in the things of the spirit so god is teaching us we spend time now to pray and travel in the spirit you cannot imagine the levels of victory and so you would just step home and you see that doors begin to open and some of you your loved ones will not know they will just say aha uh -huh, things are working well now things don't just work they are enforced in the spirit learn this learn this learn this one day it will change it's a waste of time time does not change things are you getting me engaging kingdom principles 38 years that man was at the pool of bethesda in less than five minutes he got up he would have remained there forever so the word of god that you are receiving you must believe it please hear me you must believe it if you're just sitting down and watching every week and just looking and hoping that this word will make sense one day you may be deceiving yourself the bible says ever learning have you seen people like that they have all of the revelation but never coming to the comprehension of the truth depart from those kinds of people when you come into the presence of god give your heart it says meditate on these things give yourself wholly to them and it gives you an assurance what's the assurance that thy profiting may appear look let me tell you um you see if your life does not bear fruit after a particular time you will be frustrated because it's god that sees the heart men look at the outward appearance are you hearing what i'm saying men do not have the ability to see the heart so your christian experience must translate into a testimony that glorifies the name of the lord are you hearing what i'm saying if it does not your family members will never see the relevance of your commitment to prayer and to the study of the word the disciplines and the constraints of the spirit 
Say, my life will bear fruit. Say it, my life will bear fruit. Brothers and sisters, if you go to your house and there is a sick person and you have a revelation and you pray for that sick person, stand up, my brother, and you pray for that sick person and the sick person stands up, do you know that that is a sermon that is more than one year of beckoning up? You don't need to invite people and say, come for God. No, 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 no. The woman, at the, Samar the Samaritan woman said, come and see a man that has told me everything I've done. What is the result in your life that compels people to want to know about God? If your life continues to remain a barren wilderness, there is no reason why people should be attracted to your God. There was something that Ruth saw and she told Naomi, he said, my, your God will be my God. Hallelujah. It's not just for you to come and watch a man of God doing great things. No. It's to provoke your spirit and you go back with that anointing. You're not falling down for nothing. Say, I'm anointed. Say it. Some of you are even laughing at yourself. Say it. It has nothing to do with fivefold ministry. It has everything to do with being alive. Hallelujah. And you step into your house, you step into your place of work, and you step in as an ambassador, as an envoy. Don't let people mock your emoji. Emoji for nothing. Emoji, emoji. They keep calling you. When there's trouble, they pass you. You are emoji as a nickname. No. Emoji, you say yes, and they pass you, and, and you are not contributing anything to the kingdom. Elisha said, hi, I love that guy. He said, let Naaman come and know that there is a prophet in Israel. Hallelujah. That there is a prophet in Israel. Can the devil look at your family and say, ah, if, if only I can shift Zuera out of the way and like a big hen, you stay there and say you are invited. I have become a shield. He said, as for me and my house. For many of us, it's as for me and myself. It must translate beyond you. Are you getting my point? You shield others. You are minding your business and you see the devil trying to oppress somebody. You say, Satan is my business. It's my business. Whether you invite me or not, it is my business. You must let this person go. Hallelujah. Listen. It's not enough for you. Don't get used to seeing miracles, healings, deliverances. You know, in Koinonia, we are so used to miracles. When it happens, you just watch one of those things that's happened again. You see, it's a lesson. It's a handwriting upon your life. Are you hearing me? That God is challenging you and telling you that your life ought to be supernatural in every way not just by making noise and disturbing people when they are sleeping praying in tongues no it must translate it say let your light so shine before who before yourself before men you already know you have the light but they do not know he said let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and as a result praise your father in heaven when was the last time someone spoke to you about his situation and you said, that's all right. That's all right. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you picked up your phone. You said, let's pray. Many of us, is just, hey, yeah. See, I just returned from Koinonia. It was powerful this night. Ah! You missed. And Ben said, I'm, I'm having a little stomach ache. Said, oh, it's like that. Let's, let's just lie down. It's too late. The chemist is closed. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. You need to get angry one day. Are you hearing what I'm saying? As soon as you get home, you hear your sister saying, finally, my name came out. They are about to, to downsize me and, and, and do all of that. And you say, Toh, I'm sure that God knows how he will work things out. Look at what you are saying. You are the ambassador. You are the voice of God in that room. You must die. One of the things I've learned, listen to me. One of the things I've learned about working in the anointing is that you must die to your ego hello are you hearing what i'm saying 
many of us are so conscious what if i i tell the people god will bless you and god doesn't bless them tomorrow they will now see me and say pastor that prayer you know people are so funny pastor you prayed and the prayer didn't work oh. and you feel stupid you feel embarrassed if i do well god should take the glory if nothing happens who should take the shame I, I answer me who should take the shame so if you are taking the shame you have been hallelujah go and pray for the sick person pray let the person die in your hands no problem just pray you now go and find out what is wrong with you and then the person says there's there's one wound if i open you say ah you wouldn't have even told me look just quietly go to the hospital oh. challenge your faith hallelujah don't say me i'm not a man of god's wife i want peace i don't want to trouble satan let him know take away you see i believe that our mindsets are changing that mindset of i don't trouble you satan don't trouble me too let's all mind our business it does not work in this earth realm are you getting what i'm saying it does not work in the earth realm there are many of us i would not be surprised that there are some of us who sit down like that you believe that because you are not active in the things of the kingdom when the devil comes he will jump you and go and look for those who are really causing him trouble and he said the devil pass please pass i don't have anything i didn't look for any trouble it doesn't work that way satan does not disturb you because you have become a slave to him right but you must you must tear down the assaults of the devil over the lives of people say one more time i'm anointed say it i'm anointed the holy ghost just took over this meeting let's just flow with the way he's i'm anointed look at your hands everyone look at your hands i know you have been insulting it that it doesn't look nice forget about all those ones look at your hand whatever you have there is your hand whether it's rough or smooth it's irrelevant just look at your hand i'm talking about the spiritual the spiritual content i like you to say my hands represent the hands of jesus they carry the anointing of the holy spirit they can produce results and work wonders do you believe that this is god bless you this is my mentality this is my mentality my hands are not just for eating no it's, there is there is something upon my hands jesus has placed his hands upon my own hands many of us we keep falling down and rising but we are not blessing anybody i want to ask you a few questions just a few minutes and then we'll round up listen how many of us believe we are anointed we just said we're all anointed the question i have for you tonight is who has your anointing brought to the kingdom has your anointing been able to save anybody i once was lost huh come brother that this brother was lost and on the strength of the anointing that you have whether it was to save him to get him healed he has now come into the saving knowledge of the kingdom if your anointing listen i'll tell you why many people do not see more of the anointing in their life they want anointing and the first question is for what what do you want it for so you'll be speaking and people will fall down if that is your definition of the anointing if that is your scope you know especially the youth we like power and and there's nothing wrong with it you like the fact that you just sit down and say i'm speaking some of you while i was talking and things were happening you were it was as if you were pouring cold water in your body calm down the lord is speaking to you right now calm down if there is no passion in your heart to see his kingdom come I am telling you now you do not need the anointing and you shall receive dunamis acts chapter 1 verse 8 please project it for us and you shall receive power after
that that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and that power is to an end it says and you shall be what witnesses witnesses who is a witness who is a witness if Tosin slaps this gentleman and I saw it what do you call me a witness if we go to the court I said Tosin really slap I saw it so I'm a witness the Holy Ghost makes you a witness. You were not there when Jesus died. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? You were not there when Jesus died. Were you there? You were not there on the cross. But now you are standing to represent a message that you were not there physically. So the Holy Ghost says, at least I was, I, was, I was there. I was not in Jesus on the cross, but I was around. I saw everything. Let me partner with you. You do the talking and then I will prove that you are not a liar. Are you getting what I'm saying? So you tell the sick that Jesus has healed you. All of this rubbish sickness is over. And the Holy Ghost says, yes, I was there on the cross. By his stripes, this guy has been healed. And you stretch forth your hands. And the Holy Ghost validates that your claims are true. Everyone say, I'm a witness. But the, the challenge is that many of us are not witnesses indeed you have roommates you have people in your workplace and there's no transformation no transformation the Lord is speaking to us tonight hallelujah I may not have time to talk so much about it but I, I, I really wanted to talk extensively on soul winning tonight when God just took over we give him praise hallelujah we give him praise because at least he visited people and he blessed people but the question i have for us is that who is coming to the saving knowledge of jesus christ because of the investments of the spirit upon your life there are many of us who are the only ones who are born again in our family there are many of us you leave people just in and you get up and carry your bible and come for koinonia and you are happy again and again we've had people here especially students when they're in their final year some of them get to find out about koinonia it's not like they do not know but for many people the god of this world has blinded their minds they don't care are you getting my point point? and some of us just sit down we just watch and the devil keeps destroying these lives and then at a point where they have two or three weeks to get out of zaria then they come and you see them crying and wondering and getting angry with you and you say sorry it's okay now and then you don't do anything about it again the lord is speaking to us do you know why many ministries let me be sincere with you do you know why many ministries are small small in terms of membership and small in terms of impact look at every ministry that there is a rich investment of the ministry of the holy spirit they are committed to turning many into righteousness right and transforming lives why should i want the holy ghost in my life why should i want his anointing when i'm not interested in praying for the sick right when i'm not interested in 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 seeing people set free you see the church has reduced anointing to money hello hello and many of us are already becoming victims of this theology our concept of anointing is just power to prosper so i have the anointing meaning i have the anointing to prosper financially so you buy the car you buy the clothes you build the house you do everything and you say i'm anointed if you have ever doubt my anointing Look at the fruits of my anointing. Car. House. Will car go to heaven? Answer me. Will house go to heaven? Listen, listen, brothers and sisters. We must begin to live having the passions of God in our heart. There are many of us here. We used to be committed to genuine evangelism. Genuine evangelism. And we are allowing this this demonic wave of complacency in the church to just come around there are many churches i say this with all apology and due respect 
they cannot even remember the last time they made an altar call and they don't care correct they don't care to an extent that we can preach and look at many evangelical meetings and crusades right now on the crusade ground is money they are raising and doing miracles as great as that is the end of all of these things is to see a soul not just saved in terms of the religiosity saved but lives transformed every society is a reflection of the quality of the mindsets that are there this is why we are passionate and committed we do everything that we do week in week out to make sure that souls are saved and lives are transformed you will notice that i've almost not missed any koinonia meeting no matter where i am no matter where i am i try to make sure that friday i am back you know why because this work is my primary assignment any external ministration is just an extension of the apostolic impact are you getting what i'm saying now but this is the core and some of you are pastors let me talk to you or some of you are men of god you have your church you are in a year you will only preach once or twice and members are just sitting down and being confused under different kinds of messages and theologies everybody coming with his i believe in the corporate input of the body but the man, the one that God has put as a shepherd, you must stay and build the people. You are constructing an ideology and it must be sustained so that the people are built in that ideology. So that they won't be tossed through and fro by every junk and every wind of doctrine. There are some things when some of you hear now, you won't even pray about it. Is that true? On account of what you have known. The word of God comes to build you. But when it builds you, it creates a sense of responsibility. You can't just be falling for nothing and then you stand up and you just clean your body. And when you are going, you say, Guy, I fell today again. Oh, I've been falling the last three weeks. This person said, Me too. Oh, this thing, I don't know how it works. That's not the goal. It's not a thing to just, it's, it's, it's for you. How many of you here have, have sat down to say, Look, bring 5,000, bring 5,000 let's make a very serious tract tract that is well edited and and has the kingdom not religion say i don't have a ministry you don't need a ministry you need passion you see that's the mindset we all have huh we believe that for impact to ever happen you must have a ministry so three friends come together they bring the five five thousand and say come let's settle this who is the duo of this group who is the real duo if they sow a seed now who does it go to that is to be carnally minded the bible says is dead that's that's really what carnality is that you are already that see judas was not a bad person judas was a carnal person he looked at jesus and he had a business idea the name of his business idea was jesus how he can use jesus christ and make money that was all that was why he didn't even use the money he thought that when they come to catch jesus christ he would do his majestic thing again when he found out that that thing had backfired he died he killed himself how many of us here we are on facebook some of us some of us are on twitter some of us are and we well not 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 many i say this for the sake of those who will be listening to the message there are many of us it's just rubbish if you are happy today everybody will know on facebook that you are happy joyful the sun is shining tomorrow if you are angry this world what a dark place your whole your whole emotional life on display idleness we don't live with the consciousness of the kingdom as you are laughing please take seriously what i'm saying hallelujah yet we want to see the glory of god in our lives what is wrong with using your posts and say lord i may not be a man of god i may not have the power to heal the sick now but i commit myself is that true to making sure that every week one soul is saved i must come for koinonia with somebody sister how has your beautiful face translated into soul winning in the kingdom let me talk to ladies 
your beauty is either bringing people into the kingdom or taking people out of the kingdom is that true there's nothing as neutral so the brother sees you and says sister you are very fine say we give glory to the, the name of the lord i'm inviting you let me use this opportunity and invite you if you are afraid of talking to the person about jesus christ some of us once they just say you are beautiful they just say ah let me not bring jesus into it as if jesus is putting sugar inside food you know it's as if let me let me savor this moment now it doesn't come every day let me enjoy it jesus stay away let me not bring any religiosity and then the lord watches you from the throne and says you pray you want a ministry you want a ministry where you are everywhere you want an international ministry and god sees your heart and he knows that there are some levels of the anointing if we give this person you are going to be a disaster to the kingdom and he measured a thousand cubits that man was there until he proved that he was faithful then another thousand cubits was measured there are some of us even if you fast for 100 days i am telling you more anointing will not come until you step up your passion and your and your reckless abandon for the things of the kingdom we're afraid of being looked at as being fanatical right so many of us i'm not a man of god please please i can i can so see it you know there's this theology people teach there are those who give there are those who preach many people say i'm in the category of the givers no everybody is in all three categories you must give you must pray you must preach hallelujah don't just say me i'm a giver and then because the man of god really needs money desperately he said you are doing the same thing with me you who is giving me and preaching is all the same thing it's true that it's the same thing but if it's the same thing it means you can switch it's still the same thing to who has changed because of you how many of us does your presence judge sin and iniquity listen to what i'm saying does your presence i'm not talking of condemnation right i'm not talking of condemning people and just writing people off that's 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 something else that's a theology that came from hell but does your presence judge sin and iniquity truly that someone wants to do something bad and your presence is an inconvenience to the person for some of us your presence is a, is a catalyst let say hey thank god you have even come sir no. and then let me not even let me not just bypass this how many of us have truly made up our minds to part with iniquity listen listen Please do not ever think that there is a way of negotiating your way into intimacy with God. If you really want authentic power, iniquity must be far from you. When I talk of iniquity, you, you know what I'm talking about. It must be far. Don't say it does not matter. Don't say it does not matter. I'm repeating it. You must hear me. Don't say it does not matter. You will never walk in authentic power that's why a lot of people cast out demons the demons cast them too because they know that jesus said satan come to me and does not find anything of himself we joke around with the issue of sin and iniquity in the body of christ and then we believe that because god is gracious right iniquity is what will give satan access to your life your state of heart iniquity is not just sleeping around or drinking and smoking they are fruits of that iniquity iniquity is a state of heart that is perpetually rebellious towards god and the laws of the kingdom the psalmist said if i cherished iniquity in my heart the lord would not have heard me who shall ascend to the hill of the lord he said, he that has clean hands and a pure heart. When there are still Christians giving bribe and taking bribe, you will never see the hand of the Lord. Don't say it does not matter. You want job. Somebody saying, bring 250,000 and you are happy. Say it's like that. It's Nigeria, please. Don't bring any church thing here. 
bring it to bring it because you are the, don't try to dichotomize your life and say this is my social life this is my spiritual life what is the meaning of that nonsense in one of the revelations the four living creatures were in one body huh four dimensions functioning in one body we must be far from iniquity it has been the ancient key to the presence and the power of God and by the grace of God Almighty we will not water it down in koinonia we will preach the full gospel I will tell you the truth the secrets that bring the glory and the presence of God there are many of us we watch all kinds of nonsense we think it does not matter look at look at the way your mind is huh? you can't look at a beautiful lady and just go free as soon as they are sharing the grace may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ you feel like starting another service for yourself because you have you have polluted your mind watching all kinds of nonsense it's a culture it's a sacrifice am I blessing you tonight oh yes it's a sacrifice there are many of us ladies anybody you can even be walking on the road somebody will just park and say enter you say really let me enter first and find what sort of don't you live by values everybody say values say it shout it values as a kingdom citizen never forget this we live by values you may see us jump around but let me tell you the love of God constrains us hallelujah sister let people be able to look at your life and say how can a beautiful lady like this not be loose and he said no i may be beautiful but i have so I'm, i've given myself like a love slave to god that i'm beautiful you know many brothers see our beautiful ladies you know koinonia has pretty ladies right brothers say amen, amen. they are your wives too so say amen. amen but listen to me now the issue here is that before the transition between now and when they become your wives you must mind yourself and discipline yourself and be a genuine christian hallelujah brothers let me give you a little secret if you don't mind yourself with respect to ladies i'm not talking of sleeping around ladies men that are over conscious about ladies never encounter the presence of god powerfully i'm not talking of sleeping around you are just thinking it's, it's still it's still the same thing you are you are stopping your mind from entering certain dimensions of the secret place i'm not saying frown at any lady after corner saying mm, i'm pressing it to god no that's not what i'm saying there are many of us our own encumbrances is what i call carnality what you wear you can be thinking of what to wear for koinonia from saturday which one will i wear let me add it's, it's good we believe in excellence but be careful lest it corrupts your time we believe in excellence but let me tell you it's better to wear bathroom slippers and come and focus and flog it out with destiny and change your life who cares whether you wear your visage or gucci thank god but demons can bypass that visage and oppress your life and that's what we are trying to tackle in this place are you getting what i'm saying when you take care of your spiritual life then you can beautify your body on the other hand let me balance it on the other hand there are some of us that are careless about our our bodies we, we do not know that is still part of spirituality right what you wore yesterday you just look at it smell it it's not very smelly you just carry it and you're on your way to koinonia Be intentional about your coming here. Don't make it look like it's a mistake. Be intentional. Plan. These are all aspects of the kingdom. Let everything about your life, neatness, neatness, thoroughness. Some of us are very dirty. The way you are sitting down looking at me like this. Your rooms, there are still plates. That, all these things are, I'm just showing you how that your life must draw people it will either draw people towards God or away from him and don't you say it does not matter the Bible says add to your faith virtue the word virtue there is moral excellence say I'm changing
especially if you really are say it i'm changing because some of you as god is speaking to you go back to your rooms and wash that plate this night wash it this night hallelujah if come sweetheart if i'm going to get married to this lady i'm taking my revelation of god together with all the unrenewed liabilities that i have i'm coming to say bring your own and and let's 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 wed in holy matrimony the question is are you going to be a blessing to your partner or the person will look at you and say had i known what deceived me what didn't i see huh say i'm a blessing the bible says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed bless you you must be a soul winner from today whatever you will do to bring souls to the kingdom i say whatever in the positive way right don't go and do all kinds of babylonian things and say whatever let souls be one no in the kingdom the means is as important as the end i've taught you right because if if you say i am doing this and that so that souls will come i i allowed the man to go for weekend with me because i'm trying to win him between now and the next one month he must be born again no no that's not that's not the kind of born again we're talking about praise the lord say in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus i become serious with my spiritual life in the name of jesus i lay aside every weight and everything that corrupts my christian testimony two more things i'll talk about and then we'll pray and we'll be done hallelujah i want to talk about two things i have seen across that stops many souls from coming to the kingdom number one is anger among believers write it i don't know where this impartation of the spirit of anger flew and came from there are many of your anger is not demons the demons left since february miracle service but the anger is still there anger rage it is an aspect of your christian life you must blot out you must blot out please write it anger you can be as calm as a dove but when you get angry you can give it to anybody there are some sisters right here in this place you would have been married since if only you address this issue if you like go to prophet apostle pastor teacher you must change that thing. there are some brothers here you don't have friends say i don't care i'm in a world all by myself you have beat everybody close to you because of anger your younger ones run away from you there's nothing about your life that is pleasing because of anger there are many pastors today the anger and the rage they have they can finish preaching even on stage they can almost slap the other person i said sing ten or what, what are you singing and you are wondering and then the guy turns and says, let's pray and he's looking i say yes, I don't. <laughs> Number two, immorality. Immorality. Let's bury this thing this night. Look at me. Look at me. Do not let anyone, please, 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 koinonia, my conscience must be clear before God and I must tell you, do not let anyone convince you, convince you, that a life of immorality you can be able to patch your christian experience and patch immorality i'm saying it now you must hear me in jesus name i'm i'm telling you this from the depths of my heart there are many of you as i'm talking even the holy spirit is saying thank you jesus finally i'm getting to i'm not condemning you <laughs> I tell you the number of believers sir the number of believers that are compromising on their christian integrity 
especially over the issue of immorality this is probably one of the biggest reasons why many souls do not come to the kingdom if you are involved in all those things i love you but you must stop this night in jesus name say amen whether it be, you are part of it or not say amen immorality is not just sleeping around hold on so that you don't just say thank god me i don't sleep around even god knows hold on pornography pornography right now we have our blackberries it's amazing you check christian phones and see the kinds of things there i'll talk about it pornography all kinds of other devilish things and don't just blame the devil the day your roommate sees you and says ah, ah what is this with naked men? Say it's Satan. I'm, I'm even waiting for the end of the month. No, don't mock God. Don't mock God. Don't make it look like you come for miracle service and say, Lord, I'm open, and then you receive that one. There are many of us who are great men and women of God, but this is the setback in our lives, right? Look, listen to me. This is this is Bethel, the place of bread. Huh? What I'm doing to you now is like a, a doctor giving a patient injection. You feel the pain, but that chloroquine must enter so that you will be healed. Immorality. Sisters, let me talk to you. You must create rules in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you have not been doing it, create rules. If you are in a relationship, talk about it. You are in a relationship with, with a lady. Part of the reasons why you are in a relationship with her is because you are physically attracted to her sit down and be saying i'm a man of god and you'll be very surprised warn yourself tell yourself myself behave receive grace from god create boundaries huh i will i will tell you this don't think oh this is the law mm -hmm. man if this law is going to keep you focused and useful so be it so be it hallelujah there are many of us study yourself sister you know you are very vulnerable huh don't go as i say i know he's just a pastor it's been long since i washed his plate was the plate not washed was it not washed thank god for your generosity but you must be careful anything you cannot do in the open is questionable are you getting what i'm saying and many of us who are pastors here you are the we are the ones that are subject to the greatest attack hear me hear me man of god you accepted the call and you are careless with your life you will be very surprised if there is the call of god upon your life guard your anointing or you see the way men embarrass themselves you can fake healing deliverance is what will really show you whether you are all of that you'll be casting at the demons the demons are just laughing and saying all kinds of things it should never be so we are going to pray because i know that there are people affected in these areas are you getting my point and trust me if you think you need help please see me for counseling i am more than more than willing to help you we are a family don't say i'm a man of god i'm struggling with masturbation or struggling with immorality and i think is 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 an issue there's nothing to be ashamed of are you hearing what i'm saying there is nothing to be ashamed of because you see spiritual things cannot be hidden for too long they will find expression immorality is something we, we must work. i know god is helping us we are young people right the tv the media all kinds of things the the challenge on the average young man right now is is maybe 100 times more than it used to be 40 50 years ago I understand that but it's still not an excuse and please don't let anybody fool you that everybody is doing it huh there are many of us that will tell you who is not doing it no mm -mm. there are people who truly truly have taken advantage of the grace of God and they love God sincerely may you be one of such in the name of Jesus Christ may you be one of such in the name of Jesus Christ Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh
Lord is showing me chains over people's heads. I decree and declare anyone here under any kind of yoke at the count of three, inside, outside, online, I want you to shout that name again. It's not a ritual done out of unbelief. There is force and power in the name. One, two, three. Every orchestration. Go now. Be loose now. Be loose now. In the name of Jesus, be loose. By the authority of Jesus. By the authority of Jesus. By the authority of Jesus. The Lord is showing me people who have been at the same level for many years. There is nothing you do in time that moves you forward. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing fire just rising from my limbs. I'm about to pray that prayer. Anyone who has been kept at the same position right now by the anointing of the Spirit, I declare that limitation broken now. Broken now. Help them. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Right away, I want to pray against barrenness. I'm sensing the grace. Don't wait till you are married. If there is anyone here by the Spirit of God, by whatever means, your womb has been closed by the authority of heaven. I declare right now, I'm seeing the anointing coming on a number of people. Married or unmarried, let that womb be open now. Be open now. Be open now. I tell you, the anointing of God is coming on people. Whether you are married or not, some of you are standing in for your loved ones. I declare again, womb, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. I command every devil. Ah, I'm seeing such. I'm still seeing people's feet tied like a chain around the feet of people. Right now, I decree and declare every chain, Makatoska Barakata, holding anyone now. In the name of Jesus, I break those chains now. 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 Hallelujah. If you have any abdominal pain, lay your hands right now. Lay your hands just on your stomach. Any kind of abdominal pain. Doesn't matter whether it's a fibroid, doesn't matter whatever. Just lay your hands here right now. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare. Right now, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming upon your stomach area. And in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle right now. Let there be a miracle right now. I'm seeing a number in the realm of the Spirit 21. And the Lord is saying an anointing is coming on those people. And that grace is for direction. You are at a point in your life where you are confused. You honestly don't know what to do. But right now I stretch my hands. 21. I see it in the realm of the spirit. Right now let the anointing of the spirit bring in direction. Ending confusion. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Direction. Direction. Direction in ministry, direction in business, direction, geographic direction. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Up 
Baruda Shalatu Zadiakata. I want to pray for speed. I'm going to continue praying for speed until I see it manifest. Now, please hear me. Because of what happens when I pray for speed, the ushers are limited. Make sure that you protect anyone because people will start running up and down. That grace for speed must find expression. I will continue to pray it until you leave your current level. I stretch my hands by the privilege of God's grace and I declare, I don't know what has caused delay, but the mantle that commands speed right now at the count of three. Koinonia, hear me. One, two, three. Receive speed. 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 In your destiny. Speed. Do in one month what one year could not do. Do in one month what five years could not do. Do in one month in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're trying to conserve time. There is a lot to do. Who is Janet? I'm hearing a name, Janet. 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 All those who are in front under the anointing here, I command the devils that have oppressed you. This is the house of God. Right now at the count of three, release them. Release everything you have tied down. One. Two, three, go. Go now. Every strange spirit. Go now. Go now. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Janet. I'm hearing a name, Janet. Hold on. Please don't, don't be rowdy. Just relax. Stand up, my dear. That lady on green, stand up. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are from Kaduna State. Relax. Calm down. I want to pray for you. Listen. God is not just calling names at random. I want to pray for you. You can expect that there will be so many genets. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. One of you as I'm, I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you right now. It's, it's not something you can stand. The power of God, we're going to have to do a quick work because we want to take out time and minister to the sick. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare. There's one of you, the anointing of the Spirit. Let's just walk that instruction first. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare on all of you. I may not have time to prophesy one by one, but every barrier that stands between you and the next level, I declare, let it go now. I curse it by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming on a lady. Just where this, my brothers, are standing. Bring that person. Just this row. I'm seeing a cloud. Just right here. Right now as I'm speaking. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on one person there. Please bring the person. Is a lady, bring her. Janet, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. This is an instruction God is giving me. There is a family, I'm seeing the family. It's a whole pattern. Nobody marries. No matter what happens. I'm about to pray. The power of God is coming on that one person for the sake of the family. Please, I want you to believe and receive. I declare that marital delay. This is the instruction God is giving me. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. The Lord is opening my eyes. 
and in the realm of the spirit I'm seeing the map of Benway state an anointing is coming right now on Benway God is bringing a miracle I release my I stretch my hands and I declare a miracle right now it's a sign and a wonder how God does it Benway state Benway state Benway state I cause the workings of darkness over that territory in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus the Lord is taking me to a neighboring state I'm literally seeing myself in Kogi state and the Lord is saying he's breaking witchcraft I don't know who are those who are from there but I stretch my hands Kogi state may that anointing come upon anyone associated with that territory that is under the yoke of bondage. Be free now. Be free now. Kogi state. Be free now. Be free now. God does these things that men will fear him. My sister, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Something is leaving you. This is what I'm seeing. For you and for your family members. Let that devil never return to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. We look to Yahweh. Yahweh. My hope is Yahweh. Yahweh. I'm hearing a name Agnes prophecy takes a lot of time so we'll just minimize it so that I'm hearing the name Agnes 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 I'm hearing that name please very quickly because I want to take our time and God is visiting three families at Overflow 2. Overflow 2, the overflow by the roadside. I just saw an anointing. Just like fire. Three families. Three families by the Spirit of the Living God. Agnes. Who is Agnes? You are Agnes. You are Agnes. Your sister. No, you are not here for your sister. You are here for yourself. Come. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, this spirit must let you go. There is a very violent spirit that, that is attempting to take advantage of this lady's life. I declare now by the spirit of God, the covenant and the ordinance that authorizes you in the life of this lady comes under judgment now. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that violent devil must let you go now even by the Spirit of the... There is no hiding place in the name of Jesus. There is no hiding place for the unfruitful works of darkness. I curse you by the God of heaven and I declare you must let her go alongside everything you have planted in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just hold that there. I'm going to hold your hand. It's a strange mystery. I'm going to hold your hand, but the person who will fall is on this road. Bring the person for me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare 
just don't worry leave the baby the person who will fall is not this lady he's on this row like this this row right to the back in the mighty name of jesus i declare by the spirit of the living god that everything that does not name the name of christ right now i command it must go in the name of jesus christ it must go by the grace of god i set you free my dear in the name of jesus let me pray for you father there is please don't be embarrassed we may not prophesy to everyone but there is a woman here don't be embarrassed you just had a miscarriage usually i would not ask you to come but the lord is asking to come out who is that person please there is a Yoruba family that is under a very strange attack under a strange attack I'm praying right now I don't know where they are but I'm going to pray for you by the spirit please don't confuse the cases so that I can minister to them in the name of Jesus I pray for that family it's a Yoruba family from Quara State, Yoruba family from Quara State. I'm seeing it by the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. That family is here, or anyone who represents that family, I declare freedom right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you, my dear, that everything that is not the planting of the Lord, the hand of God is upon you. And the Lord is saying in the seasons that come, you are going to start having visitations. There is a visitation that God is bringing. And that visitation is preparing you for where he is taking you to. And the Lord is saying that you'll be faithful. In the name of Jesus, I declare it so, even by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you step into that level and that dimension. You are the woman with the miscarriage. You are married. Please don't feel, I hope you are not embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed, huh? Because that's the same way you will come here and testify. Listen, God is not going to embarrass you for nothing. Are we together? Listen, let me tell you this. This is one big family and we're intelligent people. We will never come and just embarrass someone like that. If there's anything that looks embarrassing, just know that these things um, are spiritual. My dear, that young lady, go in. Come, lift your hands. God is not done with you yet. Huh? This is, this is, you would have left this girl now. She would have probably just gone like that. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, take what you put in her dream life. Let it live now. Take what you put inside her through the dream. Miscarriage. Come. Please don't feel embarrassed. This is a family. Did I pray for you? Did I pray for you? It's all right. If I've prayed for you, just go back. My dear, put your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Go and return with your child according to the time of life. No more miscarriage whatsoever. In the name of Jesus, you will return with child according to the time of life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, please place your hand in the name of Jesus. Return with child. Return with child in the name of Jesus. There is someone here, you are in ministry. I've not done the impartation yet, but I'm seeing an anointing come on you. And this is for your ministry. There is a level of expansion that you have been praying for. And God is about to answer that prayer. I stretch my hands. I don't know where that person is. But in the name that is above all names, may that anointing, like a mighty rushing wind, in the name of Jesus. There's someone here, God, this night, is giving you a ministry to teenagers. An anointing is coming on you. Your ministry, 
will be to teenagers. I don't know where that person is, but Lord, I stretch my hands. Right now, may that man to find the person. In the name of Jesus, I birth that ministry by the Spirit. I birth that ministry by the hand of God. Inside here, outside, I declare, in the name of Jesus, let there be a birthing. I draw from the bowels of prophecy and I declare that ministry is better tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Your sister and you, why is she here? Miscarriage? Are you married? You are sure? In the name of Jesus, place your hand there. I agree with you. Every plague of miscarriage goes now. In the name of Jesus Christ. According to the time of life, return with your child. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your sister, where is she? Abuja. Tell her that she was prayed for and she should expect a miracle. In the name of Jesus, I declare. You're standing in for her, but I declare the power of God is upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are four people who are receiving the mantle for prayer and intercession. Now, I know that it's, it's, a, it's a grace we will all desire, but there are four exact people. Four exact people, some inside, some outside. Lord, I don't know where they are, but that grace, a dimension of the intercessory ministry, capacity to travail by the Spirit, In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why is she here? Come. Where are you from? Kaduna, how long have you been married? Last year. Last year. Madam, you came out here for miscarriage, but what God is dealing with is more than miscarriage, huh? We'll pray for you. Where's your husband? Here, sir. Because I'm seeing him here. Yes, sir. Is he here? Yes, sir. Where is he? Husband, please come. Is the man here? How are you, my friend? Stand up. God is about to change your life. I don't know you. What do you do, sir? Where? I'm up in Kaduna. Sir. Kaduna, I want to pray for you. Where are you from? I'm from Ejiji. There is a grace. Please hear me. What? What? Where do you work? I work with the Alliance of Africa. There are two things I'm seeing. One, I'm seeing real estate. Number two, I'm seeing distribution. Distribution of things. Go and write them down and pray over them. This is where your money is. This is where the grace of God. You hear what I'm telling you? You see, sometimes God will not violate your will. You can choose to do anything you do. But because of the openness of your heart, he will give you direction. The Lord is my shepherd, he says, I shall not want. So when God directs you, he will take away want and lack from you. And that's why I said this is more than just the issue of barrenness or whatever it is. Huh? We'll pray for you. And madam, I want to stop the dreams. Dreams. Huh? I have to pray for you. Sometimes you don't share them, but there are dreams that are oppressions, a lot of oppressions. I want to pray for you. This will end in your life. Amen. In the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Sir, this is July, August, September. By October, write it down. Your life will change. Amen. Do you know what just entered you? You didn't just fall under the anointing. You see, my, my brother, the realm of the spirit, what is on you is what controls what is around you. Don't worry, I'm going to pray for you. It's the grace for favor that came on you. Amen. And I declare and I prophesy over you. 
by the Spirit of God, these three months, may your life change in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, put your hand in your, on your stomach. According to the time of life, huh? in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing something like a rope being loosed from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus. Listen, you will come with your wife and stand here. Look at their faces and remember them. So that the day they come and stand, it's, it's not to glorify a man. It is to show that God, oh, God is still alive. Huh? I lose this in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will return with a strange miracle. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Sir, can I talk to you please? This man. Yes, sir. Where are you coming from, sir? Kaduna. Kaduna. I don't know you. Is it alright if I pray for you? I want to pray for you. Three things. Number one, I want to pray that sickness will not take you to the grave. Amen. I'm not a prophet of doom. This is our, our prophet. I want to pray for you. That's number one. Number two, I want to pray for you that everything that is yours that has not been released, let it come to you. Does it make sense what I'm telling you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will pray for you. This is one of the reasons why you are here. I want to pray. It will surprise you the way God will release all kinds of financial blessings to come to you. And then number three, there is a man from Lagos that God is going to connect you with. God is going to use that man to turn your life around. I don't know what you do, but please, I want you to mark this. But the most important prophecy is sickness. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing that this thing is an attack. It will start one morning. You just stand up and they will say you are behaving as if you are talking to yourself and you are having memory loss. It's of the devil we must pray. Madam, come. God is about to change your life. Because you are praying and you are saying God should tell me to speak to you. Is that true? Yes, sir. Stand here. I'm, I'm standing here and I'm hearing your prayer. Yes, sir. And you are saying the Lord should, that should visit yes, you, that you did not come from far for yes, nothing. Sir. Where did you come from? Come. Where are the other two people? We look to Yahweh. Yahweh. I congratulate you in the name of Jesus because your life will change in a very remarkable way. Madam, I want to pray for you. Look at me. Stand up, my friend. Why by the laugh here? Who is sick? Madam, I want to pray for you. You see, ba, when prophecy is used well, I'm seeing this woman, your right breast. Huh? If I don't pray for you, you're going to start having what looks like a growth. And it will later become cancer. Because I'm looking at this woman. No, don't worry, madam. I'm, don't be afraid. I'm looking at this woman on the bed and just whine. And they say, what is this? What happened to this woman? Madam. You did not leave Adamawa State to come here to waste your time. No. I vowed a vow and prayed a prayer that never should there be a time when I will have the opportunity to minister and the people say, oh, it was just like before. Never, 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 never. That every one encounter will leave a deposit of God in your life. Hallelujah. Sir. I want to pray for you. He's, where is he coming from? Adam Awatu. I need to pray. There is bad luck in your life. Come, you are a very nice man, but please stand up. Please stand up. I Don't cry. Oh, yeah. oh dear. You see, but let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, sometimes people are carrying pain. Oh. You just see people laugh and praise the Lord. 
that that is a dance of faith it's just a, a joy of faith because i'm looking at this man you will not believe what this man has gone through is that true what do you do sir i'm a laundry washing with his hand yes. this is what i'm saying this man guy oh dear this man is supposed to be connected to a politician in Adamawa State. This is this man's destiny based on what the Lord is showing me. His name is Zechariah. His name is Zechariah. Yes, he's representing Michika Madagascar. This is what I'm telling you. Just listen, let me prophesy to you. I'm seeing that this man's destiny is supposed to be with a member and yet he's doing, now I'm not saying laundry is an insult, but the way he's doing it, this is not a blessing. Um, I don't know what happened. We had a good relationship, and just of a sudden, he changed. He changed. No, he did not change. Somebody told him, huh, that they can use you to kill him, and that he has. It's not only you. I'm not a. Pro, don't go around fighting anybody, huh? That this man one day will kill him. They were saying, Honorable Kayankali, be careful. Don't allow people to just come around you like that. Who already know you? Because the enemy within is outside. That's why he lost relationship with you and cut everything away. You see, let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, God reveals this thing to tell you this world we live in is not a playground. If you don't sustain spiritual intelligence, look at how may your enemies not get to the gates before you yeah. that the counsel of Ahitophel can turn a man's destiny and this man is not that he's using a laundry to washing clothes like it like an animal sir you have come here for God to change your life and I'm praying for you by the God of heaven, the one who put this miracle service together. Let things change now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I declare favor upon your life. Let things turn around in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? English house, I speak anyone. <laughs> Divine visitation in every area of my family. I will pray for I you. I want male children. <laughs> Oh, he you have female children. I have two. And you but want I have a male. Yes, I need male children. Mm. I want God to go to change me. That's what I, there's a reason why I shifted the mic. I don't want you to say what you're about to say loud, huh? Because one day your husband will be changed and he will hear this this miracle service message. It's true. I want to pray for you. You see, please let me advise us. It's God that gives children. And, and I don't mean to insult anyone, but please, let's be careful. This issue of give me male children, give me female children, otherwise you are not this. I mean, it's even better to come to a man of God to pray for you than to antagonize your wife or husband. There is a culture of the kingdom. Listen, when we get born again, the values, the value system of the kingdom, the spirit life must be at work in us. In as much as I know sincerely that it is beneficial to have children, male and female. When our people are getting married, I pray for them that God will give them children, male and female. But you cannot antagonize your wife or your husband and say, give me male children, female children. Of course, I understand I'm, I'm an African because of issues of inheritance and other things, but we have to be careful. Whatever God has not given you, you cannot have it. And if you go to the devil to have it, let me tell you, the consequence will be waiting for you. Are we together? Madam, look at me. Do you believe if I pray for you, yes, you will come here with a male child? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I I Madam, what did you see me doing for you in a dream? Sir, you declare he lives upon my life and you say it is done. Listen, number one, number one, God is bringing favor to your life. Number two, you will stand on this very altar with a male child. I want you to believe it. You believe that? Hold my hands. Father, please turn the life of this woman. 
in the name of Jesus. Let it please you to open her womb and give her a male child. And we agree, we receive that your husband is born again. And he's walking in the ways of God. In the name of Jesus. Madam, the Lord is going to connect you with some, a woman from Maiduguri. Where are you from? I'm from Adama. We have together. She's my okay. Sister. I'm going to pray for you. A, a woman, she does textile and clothing. Kaya cloth. This woman will bless you in a way that it will look like it's a charm. Yay. Believe what I'm telling you. Father, I decree and declare, surprise these people by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I bless you. God changes your life in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Mama, that mama with blue, come. Who came from Kano? From where? From Air Force Base. Air Force Base. This is your husband. What do you want God to do for him? Don't cry. You know, I preached a message here and I said, God can do it, Abby, madam. Hmm. Since 2005, no child. No messes again. Everything has gone. Madam, stand up. Please, if you are in ministry here, hear me. Reduce your public life. Go back to the secret place and get real power. Genuine grace. Genuine grace. Genuine grace. Let me repeat it, please. If you are in ministry, I say this, please. Reduce public life. Watching football. Going for marriages that you don't have any business to. I'm not saying you should not honor people. But the times that we're living in now, the problems on people, is not just sermons. People are in real trouble. We must trust God for grace to stay in the spirit until you get something genuine that can solve people's problems. 2005, how many years is that? 14 years, no child, her period ceased completely. The devil sat on it. Let me see how you have a child. Madam, don't cry. It's okay. I don't know you. I've never seen you. You can see. How will you be sitting there and then God will just call you? I want to pray for you. Madam, please hear me. I'm saying it in the open. I didn't say it in your ears. I want you to go and prepare. Huh? I'm seeing... Where is your husband? Anybody who wants to come and destroy your family by giving you something to drink, eh? In the name of Temeko, I, I, I banish them far. You hear what I'm saying? Because I'm seeing a man, I'm not, please, I love the body of Christ, but I'm seeing someone come, supposedly a prophet, but what this man is doing is not prophecy. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Six months now. I'm, I'm the only one. Six months? Yes. He has gone away. He, he just, he, I, I went to his office to tell him that I'm coming to Zaria today. So he now said, uh, he just looked at me. You're not divorced, <laughs> but he has just gone. He, he just went, but you're not divorced. Uh, he's saying uh, where they are, where they are drinking this thing, so he just left me. He may not, don't, don't be too quick to judge the man. See, let me tell you this. You see, Ba, when people go through things, be careful. When you are about to cross people and call them evil and call them this, remember that stability is according to the measure of your understanding of who God is. And there are times that even the strong get pushed to the wall. So don't be too quick. We are people of love. Don't come here and start thinking and saying, especially if you know the woman, and think the husband is this. Mm -mm. We are not here to show who is right or who is wrong. We are here to show that there is a God in heaven. Are we together? Madam, hold my hands. I command this spirit. 
in the name that is above all names to release your womb in the name of Jesus. Madam, I speak to you. First, may God reconcile you back to your husband. Second, you will take in according to the time of life. Your baby will stay and you will return back to the child. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every orchestration that is not of God to keep you barren and to destroy your marriage, I curse it now in Jesus' name. See, anyone here, I'm, I'm praying for the ladies now, then we'll pray for the sick. We have to be fast. But no, you don't have to come out. But you are here, the moment you start a relationship with a guy, he becomes serious. And just when he's deciding to do anything marriage, it must scatter. You continue to enter relationships relationships, loving and unloving, loving and unloving. Today you are in love, tomorrow nonsense manufactures itself. I'm praying right now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit because it's a yoke that must be destroyed. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, inside and outside, anyone who is under that category, by the God of heaven, let the power of God come on you now to end that captivity. Let the power of God come on you now. To end that captivity. You see, please give this woman her photo. That woman under the anointing. We have to pray. Um, the Lord is asking me, we are praying. I, I hope I'm not boring you. I'm not wasting your time. The Lord is showing me a family here. I may not ask you to come out. But in this family, you never settle maritally, but you will have children. No matter how you go around it, you find out that you have children out of marriage, out of, and, and it's not like the men will be there to take responsibility and take care of the children. The Lord wants to deliver that family right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah. Why is she coming? Out? Why is she coming out? The, the family is, she just came out on her own. No, don't worry. Well, she's, she's, she's crying because of her pain. It's possible she's part of that family. But I'm going to pray. Whether you know it or not, you see, the thing about the anointing, I told you, sometimes God locates people distinctly just to talk to them, to encourage and build their faith. But it doesn't matter where you are. I want to pray now that, that, you cannot get married happily with a ring and settle down and have children. But the devil will manipulate that you will continue to have children. I pray right now. I don't know where they are. But in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that that yoke is destroyed now. We declare that that yoke is destroyed now. That yoke is destroyed now. My dear, look at me. Come. It's your season of laughter. The Lord is saying I should tell you. You see, let me tell you. For all the pain that you've gone through, I want you to hear me. God himself is turning your life around. Because... Let me remind you, even as he has reminded you, that it pays to serve Jesus. Sometimes you will look foolish while you are doing it. Let me encourage someone here. It pays to serve Jesus. It may not look like he will come every day, but the day he comes, he will come with dignity and honor and lift you in a way that whoever has laughed at you will have to bend their head in shame. I'm praying for you. Hold my hands. Father, in Jesus' name, confirm your word. You have said that it's a season of laughter. I call it so and I declare that everything that stands as a blockade to your joy and laughter leaves your way now. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Someone will run out under the anointing. Hold the person and bring the person out. That will be the last prophecy. The power of God is coming on someone. It's not something you can control. By the anointing, you will find yourself rushing out by the Spirit. Please. When that happens, bring the person. I need to speak to the person and then we'll pray 
for the sick right now. It's a very strange anointing and you will find yourself rushing out by the Spirit. Meanwhile, let this lady come. My dear, hold my hands. Let it end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it end now. In the name of Jesus. I'm rebuking something you don't know anything about. But in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, it goes now over by the grace of God. There are two ladies here. Only married men look for you. A, a responsible, godly gentleman will never seem to be interested in you. But when you find a married man, sometimes with children, that's the one that will come to you. I'm praying. I know there may be many people, but these are two people in the name that is above all names. I declare right now, whatever is on you that continues to compel married men, Kapoush Kalibra Atasubati Katea, Garu Sekete Barato Shadekata, Shaproske Paru Kapa, Embregete Shali Karuska Baruta, Emprakato Sekata. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit now. I curse so something is burning here. I curse that spirit now. I curse that devil now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't be embarrassed, but I see the spirit of lust on this lady. I stretch my hands. Let that devil leave you now. That a man cannot come and pass this lady quietly and successfully. There's something that must continue to draw. In the name of Jesus, by the spirit of the living God, I curse that spirit. And I declare it must let you go now. It must release you now. By the God of heaven, I declare, be free from that spirit. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick. Our time is gone. But we have to do this very fast. And like I said, please, please listen. All the people who will be praying for you, I just want you to believe. Um, whether you are in overflow, one, two, three. If you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, please not standing for anybody. And aside from those who have prayed for if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, then join the prayer line here. I want to pray for you myself. Just the fruit of the womb. Are we together? Now, of course, all who are here, you can come for your normal prayer. But particularly, if you, are, if you came here trusting God for the fruit of the womb, this, this fruit of the womb issue is becoming a serious issue. And we need to deal with it once and for all. Now, we are going to do this fast. All the people ministering to you will do it very, very fast and pray for you. While you are doing that, please, how many of us came with our prayer requests? For those of us who are visitors, there's still room for you. You can quickly pen down your request and wave it. Ushers will be moving around to collect PR. Please help them. And let's just make this very fast and make this snappy. But overflow one, um, overflow two, overflow three. And then the overflow from the building right to second equa and down let's call that overflow four okay okay there is there is overflow two b then there is overflow four please listen this is overflow one this is overflow two there is overflow two b from this place right to the roadside second equa down then there's overflow four just from the gate of overflow 3. Then we have overflow 3 in the main building. And then online. Please make your way. Come out and stand according to those various overflows. There will be people there to minister to you right now. We'll do it very fast. Our time is gone. Please submit your prayer request. I'll be laying hands on all of them here right now. You can just wave them. There will be someone by your side. We apologize for those of you standing because your seats were foiled. 
you would soon have it back and then be back to your seat. If there are visitors, some of you who are members, clear the way for them. They can sit down temporarily, please. If you are here, you are part of us, you can allow them to sit on your seat pending when their seats will be. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. Thank you for your patience. Stretch your hands to this request. Please, if there are still requests um, that are not here, let's have them here very quickly so that we can pray. Please understand that this is not a ritual. God really answers prayers. There is a God in heaven who is in this service. This is a prophetic representation of our pain, our expectations. There may not be time to speak to everyone. There may not be time to minister to everyone as we would want to. But then I want us to agree right now. Stretch your hands and begin to pray in the spirit. As I lay my hands upon this request, we are declaring that every request here must be turned into a testimony. Abaratos calabrandege baratos kedi. Abratos zadege baratos shalekatos. Ente prata salagato brati kedi. Karusa tapradisha. Stretch your hands and believe. We are declaring God is answering prayers now. Hallelujah. I stand upon with my bare foot on this prayer request and I declare by the Spirit of God. Even as God has instructed me, I declare that every request here by the Spirit of grace, let it be turned into your testimony. That in the name of that is above all names. There are, hold on please. There are people here, this is a death sentence. There are people here, this is an impossible situation. There are people here, God will, the person God will talk to is far. But I pray, what looks impossible, I bow my knees to the God of heaven, the one who honors me when I pray. And I convert every request here to a testimony this night. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living Lord. I decree and I declare by the spirit of faith that by this time next month you return here rejoicing. Please don't let the 
the devil lie to you and say it will be as it has always been? Uh-uh. 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 Every anointing that must be released towards your direction for this prayer to be answered, we release it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And every pattern that is not just an individual but is a pattern that is written here. As God is visiting you here, every other person connected to you whose request you have written here, we command a miracle for them where they are. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are situations here that need the blood. I declare by the mystery of the blood. There are three that bear witness in the heavens. The Father, the Word, and the Spirit. There are three that bear witness in the earth. The Spirit, the water, and the blood. In the name of the Lord God of heaven. By the mystery of the blood of the eternal covenant. We cancel every ordinance that sponsors continuity of this request. In the name of Jesus. And the king could not sleep in the night. And he said, bring me the chronicles. And he saw there written what Mordecai did. Whoever must remember you for this request to be granted. By the God of heaven, we open the book of remembrance tonight. Any man holding what belongs to you, which is the reason why you are writing anything here, we put pressure on them to release it now. Every family here wept in shame and reproach. It looks like there is no dignity. The speakings of God does not seem to find expression here. I agree with you tonight by the God of heaven. Please help those under the anointing. That by the power of the Holy Ghost, shame and reproach ends this night. Shame and reproach ends this night. Shame and reproach ends this night. Therefore, I decree and declare that these Egyptians you have dropped here, by the God of heaven, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. The same way I stand upon this request, I command that you stand upon every challenge. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I speak over your life. The doors that have followed you here closed. In the name of Jesus, please believe. Let your... Don't be distracted. Focus on the word of God. In the name of Jesus, I command those doors be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Every grounded ministry here, every grounded business, every grounded family, hear the word of the Lord. I command and I declare, come back to life. Come back to life. Come back to life. Come back to life. Every helper assigned from God who has not yet paid attention to you and what you request, I stand by the God of heaven and in the name of Jesus, I compel them to attend to your matters. I compel them to attend to your matter. I compel them to attend to your matter. Everything that should have happened and has not yet happened, according to the program of God, you know you should have entered that level and you are not there. 
by prophecy I push you to that level by prophecy I push you to that level listen you see let me tell you what I'm doing I'm not just speaking I'm placing something upon your life you may not see it but you leave this place and watch what happens to you then you will see things turn around let me pray for you the kind of favor that must bring acceleration to your life please receive this one in the name that is above all names may that mantle like a cloak Zakata Pakatos Ebreketos Kabaruta Ebreketekotoshopakata Kratoshotes Kabarata Take favor Take favor Carry favor Carry favor In the name of Jesus Every area you have struggled in your life, you have done what you know to do. In the name of Jesus, I declare that that struggle comes to end now. Now please listen. The anointing your destiny needs for this season. Please listen. Every season has a grace requirement. Every season. There are doors that don't just open because you stand in front of them. Yesterday's anointing will not move you to tomorrow's place. I pray for you. This is an impartation. Wherever you are, I declare like the dew of heaven, the kind of grace you must carry for this season. Let it land on your destiny now. By this anointing, I forbid you from being ignored. In the name of Jesus Christ, I forbid you from being ignored. I forbid you from being trivialized. No man will look down on you. They came to Jesus and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God, for no man can do these things except God be with him the things that must be done through your hands in this season for it to be said this is the Lord's doing as you are lifting your hands may a fresh unction from heaven come upon those hands for exploits anyone in ministry here I declare over you go back to your various assemblies and platforms let there be fire on your altar fire on your altar fire on the ministration let the gifts of the spirit work powerfully in the name of jesus we're rounding up let's pray over our finances this issue of finance it's bringing many people to their knees. Bringing many families to their knees. Distracting people. The time we should spend on the things of the kingdom. We are focusing on money. What to eat. What to wear. House rent. Building projects. It is not the will of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Ebenezer, the helper of men, I declare this month, even beginning from today, receive strange financial help. Receive strange financial help. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you, strange financial help. Everyone under the sound of my voice, trusting God for an honorable job. Listen, there are jobs that don't have honor. They are time wasters. They are devourers. I pray for you. The kind of job that represents dignity, that will honor you and help you to build your home well. May the God of heaven give you such a job. Let me pray for your spiritual life. If you have cars, you have houses, 
and your spiritual life is not on fire, you are not doing well. The first index to measure prosperity in the kingdom is the health of your spiritual life. That your prayer life fire, word life fire, fellowship with the spirit fire. No room for up today, down tomorrow. I pray for you, fresh fire upon your prayer life. 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 Every lukewarmness, slumber, gluttony, these spirits that destroy your spiritual fervency, I declare in the name of Jesus, receive victory over them. The grace that can keep a man in the presence of God, the, the staying power that you can stay with the world, stay in prayer, not rushing and rush out and one power. God is not a magician. I pray for you, the unction to stay, receive it in the name of Jesus. Every dimension in the spirit that is supposed to have been activated there are some of you now, listen, there are levels of graces you should have left. Sincerely, there are dimensions of power. There are haziness, certain dimensions of haziness in your spiritual perception. There is a level of authority. There is an office you should be sitting on now, but it's not yet there. I pray for you. The mantle that will shift you to that level, may that grace come upon you now. The mantle that will shift you to that level. May that grace come upon you now. Listen. Everything in your life that has refused to grow. God gave you a ministry that has refused to grow. No membership, nobody is placing a demand on your grace. God gave you a business it has refused to grow. No increase. No impact. Anything that is alive grows. Whatever has stopped growth in your life, I bring that thing to an end now. Finally, let me pray, please. The spirit of infirmity. I told you that this is, this is I came to pray and rebuke that spirit. Because that spirit, like the angel of death, is moving over families, attacking children, attacking all kinds of people. Headache will just kill a man for nothing. Kata, and they will say it's cancer. Pain around your breast, they will say you have a malignant, a tumor. See, let me tell you, whatever you don't fight to victory will remain in your life. Challenges are not the issue, but that you stand and fight the good fight of faith until you see what God said. If you have not seen what God said, don't stop. I pray for you. The spirit of a warrior, the grace that will cause you to refuse to allow things that are not the will of God. May that grace rest upon you now. As a body of believers, we agree that the spirit of infirmity first over this family, number two over this territory, and number three over the body of Christ. Thou spirit of infirmity, we banish your operation now. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day nor the noisome pestilence the destruction that wasted at noonday the spirit of death if there is anyone here that death is looming around the corridors of your life or your loved ones or those connected to you spiritually and by bloodline i declare let death lose its grip over you now
receive the last prayer that I pray for you to end this miracle service. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Please listen. Honor is a real grace. You can do everything to bring honor and yet honor will not come. Honor is not about usurping authority over people. There is a real grace. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. The kind of honor that needs to distinguish you for the sake of the kingdom in this season. May that grace and may that honor rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wave your hands everywhere and give Jesus praise. Mighty God. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Father, we thank you. By the wave offering we receive, we receive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please drop your hands. Please let me say this. Let there be no movement till we are done. Every time we are almost done, many of you cancel out everything God has done through disobedience. Just give me two minutes and then we must leave. There are people here who are yet to truly surrender their life. Please keep standing. We believe in soul winning. And in reality, we believe that it is the greatest miracle. There are people here who came to this place confused, looking for Jesus sincerely. Religion refused to give you. Sometimes we men of God disappointed you but you are still looking for Jesus. And there are others who are saying, Apostle, I love Jesus, but the way my life is right now, I need help. Now, whatever, whether you are inside, outside, we have two minutes for you. Please, win that war this night. Don't sit down dilly-dallying. You know that you need Jesus. Wherever you are, inside, outside, I don't want you to be ashamed. Aside from overflow 3, overflow 2B, and overflow floor, you can just move to your various projector screens. But you are here, quickly. I'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain and stand here right now. Quickly. I don't expect you to be thinking about it. Keep standing. It's something you should know. Keep coming. Run to Jesus. Don't let any friend hold your hand. And say, don't embarrass yourself. Don't let any relative keep you bound. Our time is gone, but your salvation is important. Keep coming. Keep coming. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm ashamed. Win that war and come. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm not sure if I'm saved or not. If you are not sure, make your way and come quickly. Apostle, I'm a leader in my fellowship. Join them quickly. We have one more minute, please. Those coming from outside, quickly. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Those online following from whatever nation doesn't matter once you are following and you can hear my voice listen to me please believers listen it is important that we never lose out on soul winning let me say this it is not just an evangelical agenda it is not an orthodox agenda it is not a man of god agenda it is the only way men come to this kingdom no matter what we do please you're a man of god here hear me don't be careless over soul winning. It is important that people be given an opportunity, except you don't know what salvation is. If you really understand what the new birth is, you will desire even your enemy to be saved. It is the only gateway. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave. Salvation is a giver's gift to you. You receive. 
I salute all of you who have come here. Some of you are standing here rededicating your lives. Some of you are not even sure what you are doing, honestly. Some of you are here genuinely for the first time. It doesn't matter. You see, the thing about the love of God is that the moment you call on his mercy, he will act as though he's not seeing what is wrong with you again. The mercy of God is powerful. Religion is what drives people away from God. Lift your right hand. Those around the various overflows, join them. Please say after me, sincerely, Jesus is in this place. You are not reciting a poem. This is from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the Son of God. This night, I receive Jesus as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that according to Scripture, I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I'm not only heaven bound, but I reign in life. I receive of the Holy Spirit from today. I declare and forever that I'm a child of God. Amen. I declare over you by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven. The Lord himself is granting you a new beginning. I pray that you will know the ministry of the Holy Spirit in a new and a fresh way. I pray for you that you will know the anointing in a mighty way. For many of you who are standing here, may God use you to become mighty men and women of God. In the name of Jesus, I bless you with hunger for spiritual things. I bless you with passion for the house of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. A big congratulations. Now, please, I want all of you alongside um, those at the various overflows. There should be someone waving his or her hands. Please, I'd like you to follow them very quickly. And there will be a group of people who will address you. Let's do that very quickly. Let's do that quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Hallelujah. Now, our time is gone, but... Um, Please listen, we're about to take the announcements. Welcome the first timers and we're done. I sincerely apologize. Pray for us by God's grace. I know that God will grant us the grace. We'll soon have our place and we'll reschedule our services to allow us finish on time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I, I, know, I welcome everybody. We're going to welcome the first timers now. But particularly, I just want to honor a few people. First, I want to bless our precious people, the delegates from um, the King's Court and the Oasis. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. The redeemed Christian Church of God. That's, um, that's the church that Nathaniel Bassi pastors. God bless you. Thank you. There are a group of people here, adorable people. These people take, they take care of me so much every time we have a meeting around their place and um, we love you. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. I want us to honor the pastor from Ukraine. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you very much. And um, now I know there are so many people. Please don't find offense. It's by no way belittling you. Every we believe the law of honor is one of our foundational um, values, our pillars here. I just felt I am indebted to some of the people that are connected to these ones. And so I just wanted to to do that honor. And I think, I hope I'm right. Yes, it should be him. Um, I saw Elisha Maman somewhere. He just squeezed himself. That's him. May God bless you. Very humble and very great man. I love you. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Every other person who has come here, especially for those of you who came from so very far, um, aside from those that I called, within a few minutes I will request that you come um, and stand here so that we will honor you. We believe in honor. And I know that in many churches, they have different ways of receiving people, but we don't fake things and we don't pretend things here. When we call you out to honor you, we really mean it. It's not some Christian stage managed acting, no. Genuinely, sincerely. So wherever you are, aside from the extreme overflows, I would request that you just move to the front of your projector stand. 
but for those of us who are here overflow one overflow two please gallantly walk and come right here if this is your first time worshiping with us we want to honor you you're that important and we love you koinonia is this the best you can do Hallelujah. Please stand. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Let them come while I talk because of time. Keep coming. Let me tell you this. You see, it's all right. Praise God. Just listen to me while they come. It's a lesson that I want to teach all of us. Please learn this. Never take men for granted. When... When God honors you, please hear me, pastors. I tell you why we stop getting members in our churches. Because we get to points where we believe we are too big to honor the people. In other words, they don't mean anything. I always thank God and appreciate every one person who takes the pain to come here. Thank God for the wonderful things that he's doing. But remember that nobody is obliged anywhere to honor you and to promote what you represent. And when you find a people who can make such investments, value them. Are we together? Whether you're a pastor, whether you're a businessman, this world is the world of men. Place honor on men. He says, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Influence is your blessing when you honor men. Thank you so much, every one of you. I wish I had the time to really walk to you one by one and hug every one of you. And I mean it from the depth of my heart. But on behalf of Jesus Christ himself, the apostle of the church, I welcome you to Koinonia in the name of Jesus. Many of you have heard about the wonderful things that God is doing here. Many of you have partaken of the same. And it's my joy to truly welcome you. You have come from far within and outside this nation. Um, I'm sure that there are people here that cut across all walks of life. Thank you very much. We truly appreciate you. This is our miracle service. Um, we meet here Fridays and special times on Sundays um, when there's a fixed time. But I just want you to know that I love you. We love you as a family of faith. Thank you for taking the time. And um, we want to pray for you. Truly, let me tell you this. You will not have to tell people you came here. The glory and the kind of results you will see in your life will be a testament let's stretch our hands to them hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof, if you attend to these words as well, that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart, that no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.